What's up YouTube? Jeff back again from HighOnAndroid.com and today we're going to take a look at the iLoom ScreenMate Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the HTC One M9. Now I've been using my HTC One M9 with just a regular screen protector ever since I got it which has actually been fine. There hasn't been any problems with that but it's always better to have a tempered glass screen protector just because if you drop it it's going to protect the screen from actually breaking. If you have a regular screen protector just a plastic film it's not going to do a very good job of protecting your screen from breakage. So we've got the HTC One M9, the developer edition that I unboxed for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the iLoom ScreenMate, the tempered glass, and put it on my phone. And then we're going to test it out with the cases that I've done for the M9 so far. A lot of questions people ask me are about, will this case work with a tempered glass screen protector? So we're going to get the answer to that today. Let's open up the box. I'll show you guys what you get inside from iLoom. It's not a very extensive list. Just a few things on the top. Very simple. You got your installation instructions here. You definitely want to follow these if you've never done it before. Um, it takes just a few minutes to actually go through and put the, the uh, screen protector on. If you follow the instructions, it may take you 10 to 15 minutes the first time. But once you get experienced, it won't take that long at all. So I'll probably do it off camera just so I have it ready to go and we can test it out in the cases. But basically you apply the hinge tape, align the edges, and then bring it over and everything works out like it should. The other things that you get inside here, which are often very useful whenever you're, and these are mentioned in the instructions, you've got here your dust removal sticker here, which is to remove dust from the edges. You've got your alcohol prep pad which will let you wipe your phone uh, with alcohol so that you can get it nice and clean. Also your microfiber cleaning cloth. Make sure there's no dust hiding under your lovely tempered glass screen protector when you finally get it on there. Alright, so I'm going to put that to the side really quick. I'll show you guys what the glass looks like itself. So the glass comes in this nice white sleeve and if you open it up right here inside the plastic you've got your nice piece of tempered glass. So you can see here, this is a real, you can see by the way it's reflecting the light from my studio lights, it's a real piece of reflective, hard, real glass. It's going to protect your phone. If you drop your phone with this on, it's going to break the tempered glass, but it's not going to break your screen. So that's the main advantage of having this. These guys are a little more expensive than regular screen protectors. Usually you can get them for 25 bucks. That's what I paid on Amazon. Um, but this is pretty much an essential piece of equipment to have uh, if you buy an expensive smartphone. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and off camera slap on the iLoom screen protector and then I'll be back and we'll go ahead and see if the iLoom screen protector lets us keep the same touch sensitivity on my M9, see if the tap to, tap to wake features work or not, and also I'm going to take a look at how it fits with the other cases that I've done so far for the M9. So, so far I've done the dot view case, we've got a couple clear cases, including the unicorn beetle, and I've got the Spigen, uh, the kickstand case that I did for Spigen. So let's go ahead, I'll put this on, I'll be right back with you guys so we can take a look. I went ahead and put on the iLoom uh, tempered glass screen protector, and now we're ready to go ahead and take a look here at the HTC One M9 with the screen protector on. So you can see here, my installation was pretty good. I got one tiny little bubble here at the bottom corner that I'm still trying to work out. There's one little bubble there. But otherwise, it actually looks pretty good for the installation. I didn't get it perfectly centered. I did it without the hinge tape, so I could try to do it a little quicker. It's still pretty good though. I mean, it's, it's pretty well centered, just a little bit further to this side than the other. Um, you can see there, the phone definitely has touch sensitivity still. If you double tap, all of your function is still there still very responsive, just as responsive as it is on um, without the tempered glass screen protector. So no issues with the touch, the touch functionality, everything works great. You don't have to worry about that at all. And this is now going to give you some amazing protection for your phone. So if you happen to drop the phone, now your screen is not going to crack. The tempered glass screen protector will. So iLoom is very well known for having the best tempered glass screen protectors. Um, they're fantastic. Definitely highly recommend one of these guys. It's nothing flashy or anything, but it's definitely useful. And then let me go ahead and 
show you the cases that I have for the M9. Let's see if they all fit with the tempered glass screen protector. Here we have the HTC One M9 dot view case. Let's see if it will fit with my new iLoom screen protector installed. Put it on here. And yes, the dot view case. You can see there I've got the Iron Man theme going, which actually looks, see that looks really sweet with the, that on. So the dot view case will work with your tempered glass screen protector. One thing that you will notice with the tempered glass screen protector on is that it pops up a little bit more than it would. So it's opened a little butt bit. Well, normally it tries to stay a little flatter, but again, this thing pops open and stays open no matter what you have on. So the temper glass is probably not the culprit there. It's just raised up a little bit more. So it's sort of making the flap open up even more than it would without the temper glass screen protector. All right, let's take it out of the dot view case and see if uh, this thing will fit with the other cases I have for the M9. So let's see, let's see what other case I did for the M9. We've got the Spigen, the clear shell Spigen case. Let's throw the M9 in there and see if it fits with the tempered glass screen protector. Yep, no problems with the Spigen case, the Spigen clear case. Actually, this is probably my favorite clear back case so far for the M9. This case shows off the clear back and it doesn't attract fingerprints and dust and scratches like some of the other clear cases. The clear back on the back of the dot view case actually it attracts a lot of dust, a lot of fingerprints, and a lot of scratches. All right, so let's take it off of the uh, let's take it off of the Spigen case now. We know that the temper glass is working with Spigen. Let's check out what other cases I've done so far. We've got another Spigen case sitting here. We've got the Neo Hybrid case with the kickstand. So let's throw it on the Neo Hybrid case. That was the gold one that I did with Spigen. So let's throw the M9 into that case. Got on the tempered glass screen protector. Let's see if there's any problems getting it to fit. Nope. It fits perfectly in there as well. The M9 fits great with the iLoom inside the Spigen. You got the uh, slim armor with your kickstand. All right. And then the last case um, which is another one of my favorite cases so far for the M9, which is the Unicorn Beetle case. Let's see if the let's see if the iLoom screen protector fits nicely with the Unicorn Beetle case. So the Slim Armor is a little difficult to get off with the with the screen protector on. So it fits, but it's definitely a little more difficult to get off because HTC's got this sort of shelf on the M9 that makes it a little it's deeper in the case, so with the screen protector on, it gives you a little less room for uh, error. And then if we throw it on the Unicorn Beetle by sub case, fits again. So there's the M9, fits perfectly with the iLoom screen protector installed. I would say that if you want to uh, use the iLoom screen protector, it's gonna work great with all of the cases that I've shown the only case that there might be a little bit of an issue with is the dot view case. The dot view case doesn't close entirely, but it really didn't do that before I put on the iLoom screen protector. So all of the bumper cases, all of the clear cases that I've shown and the Spigen case all work well. So we're going to do some more cases for the M9. So now we can find out every time if these guys work with the uh, iLoom screen protector installed, which is a question I've got quite a bit. All right, so that is my unboxing and impressions, sort of showing you guys how the iLoom screen protector works. This is the version that has the 9H on the hardness scale, so that's extra hard glass, which is great if you don't want to crack the screen when you drop your phone. So I will have some more videos coming up. I got some case videos. We're going to do some giveaways for some cases. I appreciate you guys checking out my video. If you could, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.